As it turns out, Nvidia's RTX 4090 was a major success for the company, though that shouldn't come as a surprise. But did you know that not only did it outsell all the other recently released graphics cards, it did so with all of their sales combined. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. This is a topic that was making the rounds last week and I wanted to still give you guys my thoughts on it since it gives us a better perspective or a different perspective on the market rather than looking at sales or stock levels of GPU retailers. Recently, Steam posted their January 2023 hardware survey on their site and what was noteworthy from this hardware survey was that we finally saw them update the database to include Nvidia's RTX 40 series graphics cards which came out in the fourth quarter of 2022. Now these GPUs were technically already there in the last surveys, but because Valve hadn't updated the list with any proper IDs, they were just being lumped together in the other category. I like to utilize the data from the Steam hardware surveys because it does give us a good perspective on what kind of trends we're seeing from the market, which GPUs are popular, has there been a rise in people gaming on 1440p monitors, things like that. It's not the most accurate because it doesn't take into account if a certain portion of GPUs were coming from mining rigs or perhaps a gaming cafe, so you do have to be mindful of things like that. Now when it comes to the RTX 4090 and the rest of the RTX 40 series, if you were to click on the section that states PC video card usage details, you can see that the RTX 4090 has a percentage share rating at 0.24%, which may not seem like a lot to you, but to be fair, the graphics card has only been out for about 5 months as it was released in the middle of October 2022. However, to put this into a better perspective for you, let's compare the RTX 4090 to Nvidia's own RTX 2080 Ti their flagship Turing GPU, which they launched back in 2018. Now, aside from all the hate and poor reception Turing got, the RTX 2080 Ti was a GPU that did actually sell decently because it was the only GPU in the initial lineup that brought a large performance jump or a new performance tier which we hadn't seen before. The 2080 only matched the 1080 Ti at the same price, while the 2070 was comparable to a 1080 for the same price. We can see that the 2080 Ti is sitting at 0.43%. The fact that the RTX 4090, which was was only released a few months ago is already sitting with more than half the user base of the RTX 2080 Ti says a lot about its success. Now compared to AMD, the RTX 4090 looks even better. We can see that the RX 6900 XT is at 0.23% and the RX 6800 XT is at 0.21%. I wasn't actually expecting to see figures like those considering the 6800 XT was the GPU that everyone had recommended to go with when compared to the RX 6900 XT. The 6900 XT at that time fell into the same sort of conclusion. While not as expensive as the RTX 3090, it was still over $300 more than the 6800 XT for only like 10% more performance. Regardless, those GPUs have been on the market since late 2020, and I know that they went through a terrible mining boom and shortage, but it's eye-opening nonetheless to see how the 4090 was already ahead. This also goes to show you that YouTube and other social media sites are AMD echo chambers that don't reflect what actually happens in the market. All it takes is for you to make one negative post surrounding AMD products or video and you'll have opened the floodgates for the AMD fans to come in and attack you like droves to tell you that you're wrong. Nonetheless, for Nvidia, this market is just a monopoly for them. AMD just isn't competing at all despite what a YouTube comment section might be telling you. Now interestingly, if you were to search for Nvidia's RTX 4080 and 4070 Ti on this list, you won't be able to find them, but if you were to go to the section which has the GPU sorted by API and operating system, you'll find them there. In this section that shows DirectX 12 systems using Windows 10, you'll find the 4080 and 4070 Ti here. The RTX 4090 in this list is still sitting at 0.24%, but the RTX 4080 is at 0.14% and the 4070 Ti is at 0.05%. Now one advantage that the 4090 has had over these cards is that it was released before. Usually, you'll see NVIDIA release the X80 class cards, followed by the X70, and then the TI or the 90 class, but this time it was the other way around. Though, had that happened, I still feel like the 4090 would have still outsold the 4080 and 4070 TI. The 4080 came out in November, and the 4070 Ti came out last month, so they still haven't been on the market for as long, but they are considerably cheaper, so you do also have to take that into account. Though, unlike the RTX 4090, both the 4080 and 4070 Ti 
had failed to sell out on launch day. Whereas with the 4090, that GPU for the first couple of months during its life cycle was pretty hard to find. It wasn't until last month where we started to see the demand for this card kind of start to trail off, and now you can find it in stock readily available. But I, I would advise checking the stock levels before heading to your computer parts retailer, as they are still limited, but not as bad as they were a couple months ago. I knew that the RTX 4080 wasn't going to sell well, but I had expected that the 4070 Ti was going to sell better simply because it was the cheapest Ada Lovelace GPU that was on the market, so if you were, were interested in trying out things like DLSS 3 or you wanted to get RTX 3090 like performance, then this was your chance to make that happen, especially if you weren't able to pick up a GPU last gen because of the mining boom. This didn't end up happening. Now I've gone over as to why both the 4070 Ti and 4080 are not good GPUs to buy at the current price points, so I won't go over all of that again. If there is one thing I do want to say though, it's that you are getting less performance gen on gen as you go down the stack, whereas the opposite was true for last gen. Circling back to AMD, they had also launched a couple GPUs late last year, those being the RX 7900 XT and RX 7900 XTX. Once everyone saw the lineup NVIDIA had unveiled, I saw countless comments stating that they were going to be switching from NVIDIA to AMD because they have a golden opportunity that they surely won't miss, right? Well, unfortunately, a lot has happened since the RX 7000 series was also not received that well, and despite the 7900 XTX having little to no availability, it's not because it's selling out like crazy, it's only because AMD's volume shipped was drastically lower than what Nvidia shipped for the RTX 40 series. On the Steam hardware survey, they are nowhere to be found, not in the first section we looked at, and not in this one either. Now you do have to remember it's not because nobody is using them, it's just that Valve probably hasn't gotten around to updating the IDs, so that's why they don't appear separately. Therefore, they're just being lumped together with the other designation. If we take into account the figures we saw for the 6900 XT and 6800 XT though, you can probably assume where those cards would have landed, and I wouldn't be surprised if they were both behind an RTX 4070 Ti combined. With that info taken into consideration, the RTX 4090 most likely has outsold all of those GPUs combined, and I would consider that to be a success for Nvidia, considering that this is a graphics card which starts at $1599. In those videos I had made in the past couple of months where I stated that people will fall into Nvidia's upsell trap and just take the plunge for it, it's clearly worked. I bet Jensen is probably kicking himself in the back for not pricing the RTX 4090 at $1999 instead of $1599. Because even if the card was too grand, I believe that wouldn't have changed a single thing. It probably would have still sold out day one, it would have still been hard to attain for the first couple of months, and then this would have raised the bottom floor up even further, making the pricing on the 4070 Ti, 4080, and the other upcoming GPUs even worse. We still have to wait for Nvidia's Q4 and yearly earnings call to see the whole picture on how it actually has gone down. A lot of people are predicting that it's going to be a terrible look for them, we'll see about that. But Nvidia is probably happy about this, and it's what they wanted. They wanted the product with the fattest margin to sell the most. The way they had positioned the entire lineup, it's worked. That was genius on their end. The RTX 4090 is an amazing GPU, don't get me wrong. Its performance at 4K is quite astonishing, but when you see the price tag, you're probably thinking, who's dropping used car money on a graphics card? But people clearly here are. This is why I believe we won't be getting any major price drops in the future, at least not for a while. Nvidia is probably content with those lower margin parts sitting, and if it comes down to moving low volume, they'll prioritize the part with the highest margins. It's that simple. For everyone else, they'll just tell you to buy an old gen 8104 GPU because they're still making those. Alternatively, you've got the used market, but your mileage may vary there. Nvidia have established such a stronghold on this market that it really just seems like no matter what they do, they cannot fail. How this bodes for the future generations, only time will tell, but expect even higher prices and lower returns for your dollar. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.